the four train tigers Mafalda, Sandro, Gustavo and Messi were successfully rescued from a train carriage they lived in for over 15 years in San Luis in Argentina. Now they begin a journey of over 20,000 kilometers to their final home in Lion's Rock Big Cat Sanctuary in South Africa. Beginning this monumental trip is a 12-hour drive to Buenos Aires Airport and the Four Paws team has to check on the Tigers several times along the way. So we are about 10 kilometers away from the airport now in uh, Buenos Aires. Um, the Four Tigers are okay. They are really active except one of them are relaxing but his head is up, but they're okay. they're okay. Relieved, the team continues on its way. A few hours later, the Tigers are ready to be placed on the first of two planes. Over 30 hours later, team and tigers have arrived in South Africa. A routine checkup in the cargo area follows. Three of the tigers are in good shape and already placed on the transport vehicle. But something seems off with Mafalda, the female. She's having trouble waking up. Want to see her head somewhere? She's obviously very, very tired. It was a long trip, not only for us, but also for them. And for them, it's difficult to understand what's happening. But I'm sure that just a few hours more, and once we are in Lance Rocket, we'll be able to release them, then everything will be fine. She's just really, really, really tired, and she doesn't know what's happening with her. I'm really, I will say, so positively surprised because I'm really still quiet. I was expecting one of them would be angry, mad after all this trip, but they are nicely sleeping, relaxing, but still not finished yet. We still have about three to four hour drive till Lion's Rock. A few hours and you will see them touching the grass. Dream will come through. Nothing is impossible. The team can breathe. However, the journey isn't over as a four-hour drive through the night awaits. Leading up to their arrival at Lion's Rock, preparations for the Tigers' enclosures had been underway for months. Heavy rain had delayed the construction work, but the team managed to finish just in time. A relief for Hildegard Pieka, site manager at the sanctuary. Um, at Lion's Rock we have a big space, natural environment, professional care. We're doing um, this work now since so many years. So yeah, when we got the call and heard that we are happy to take those tigers, we had to make a plan because at the moment we are quite full at the sanctuary. Uh, we had a small temporary enclosure at the moment uh, available, which we had to adapt and we had to do quite some work on it. And, uh, it took us around three, four weeks to get it ready. But the final permanent enclosure will be even bigger, will be a hectare. And they were never used to such a big space. So this adaption phase is very important that they get used to everything around them and the new environment. Uh, until they can, can move to the bigger space and the bigger enclosure. The morning of the arrival, 5 a.m. The truck carrying the tigers arrives. For the team, there is no rest. The tigers are to be released in the coming hours. I see all the time expected the unexpected, so I have dreams now and the vision how they will react. Four animals, four tigers, after 15 years, so I think one might be scared to go out, and I want to see how they will react. I'm, I'm wishing the best for them. I want to see the end of this incredible mission. It's time. After more than 15 years of having felt nothing but the hard concrete floor of a train carriage under her paws, Mafalda is about to take 
her first step onto grass and earth. It is impossible to say how she will react. Mafalda remains in her crate. It is the only thing she has known for the past three days. To her, the view before her is completely foreign. The team tries to lure her out with food. But for now, it's not to her taste. A few minutes later, another attempt. Progress. Bit by bit, bite by bite, she dares her way into her new world. Until, finally, Mafalda takes a leap of faith and begins to explore a kind of world she only ever saw from the inside of her train carriage in Argentina. She's a special cat, she's not so reacting so fast. She wanted first to see what's happening. In the beginning she didn't want to, to go out of the crate because the crate was the only Think she knew all oh, this new environment, this grass. She didn't know what is a grass, so she was afraid to step outside the crate, which was normal, and uh, I was expecting this uh, from her side. But at the end, she decided again to trust us, and now she's out. Next is Sandro, to be released in the adjacent enclosure. As the oldest cat, and almost entirely blind, this is an experience unlike any other in his 18 years. Grass is entirely new to him. Messi, one of the younger males, comes next. At first, terrified, but soon, he finds the courage to explore. And finally, Gustavo. He is released into Mafalda's enclosure, and she immediately establishes the hierarchy. While the tigers have much more to discover in the days, weeks, and months ahead, for Dr. Amir Khalil, the journey ends here. The mission is accomplished. I'm very happy, very emotional, very, very emotional, to be honest. I feel happy for these tigers, like really, he fly all this distance to touch a new ground. He discovered it now. It will take a time till they settle down. It's still wrong responsibility for four paws, lifelong care for these animals. But yeah, this is the reason uh, I like to do this. It's exactly this moment. I feel proud to be part of this team. Yeah, and happy for the animal, sure. I done 5% uh, 
from the hard work that you've done here and in Argentina. Yeah, now we have them here. I'm happy about that very much. I'm happy that it worked out so well, the whole mission, and that again also here the whole team, which was in the rescue mission of Ambia, was obviously doing amazing work. We will give them space and time, and then we will learn to know them, and we will take it from there. For over a decade, Mafalda, Sandro, Messi, and Gustavo endured a life limited by the bars and walls of an old train wagon. The wonders of Argentina's nature right before their eyes, yet entirely out of reach. Now, thanks to your support, your donations, and the efforts of the Four Paws team, they have found their place in this world and will finally live a long overdue, species-appropriate life in expansive new homes at Lions Rock, Big Cat Sanctuary in South Africa.